So Path of Titans is a game that I've been covering here on the channel for a while now. I haven't really covered anything recently just because there hasn't been much to cover at all. But finally, after four months of being dormant, Alderaan Games finally uploaded to their Path of Titans YouTube channel talking about some important updates that they have been working on these last four months. And at first glance, a lot of these updates may not seem like a big deal. For example, one of the things that they have been working on and are nearing completion is the new collision, which basically makes it so the dinosaurs can actually glide with one another and not go through each other like ghosts and this basically makes combat a lot more fair within the game and seeing how combat is going to play a, a very crucial role here in Path of Titans I'd say that this is definitely one of the bigger things that uh, they have been working on and again this might not be seen as a bigger like project uh, when it comes to the game, but I believe that this is definitely something that's going to improve combat. And I'm not going to go through every single update that they mentioned here in the video that they have worked on in these last four months, uh, but I do want to talk about some of the more highlighted parts, which uh, are things that I'm definitely, um, you know, more excited for. And I think we get right into the biggest thing is the fact that they said this at one point in their video. A new UI vocal wheel lets mobile players and controller users easily access all the dinosaur calls and emotes. It is also available on PC simply by holding down the V key. This makes it much easier to access the wide variety of dino vocalizations while helping to reduce the screen clutter for both console and mobile users. Okay, first off, I know that console release was already a thing back before this clip, so it shouldn't come too much of a surprise that Alderaan Games were planning on working on a console, and no, this doesn't outright confirm it, well, well kind of, I feel like it kind of does, but I feel like it, it, it does indicate that it will eventually happen. And again, that's not the, that's not something to be completely surprised about because I, I'm pretty sure Alderaan Games at some point mentioned that the console release was uh, likely, it just wasn't gonna happen around the same time as the PC release. Um, and you know, the mobile version has already been kind of released, a demo of it has been released for a while. So yeah, obviously, you know, console version isn't going to happen anytime soon, but you know, it's definitely something that we could look forward to in the future. And I know that, you know, this might not seem like a big deal, but this is definitely a big deal to me because I myself am more of a console user than anything else. So I would prefer to have Path of Titans on a console, but you know, it, I am willing to play on whatever platform possible. I just want to play the game. It looks fun. And again, I feel like the reason, and I mentioned this before in one of my previous discussion videos, I feel like one of the reasons why Alderaan Games is trying to release Path of Titans onto every platform is to garner more players and garner more people purchasing the game as a way to maybe one up uh, the Isle, which in case you didn't know, there was this whole drama with one of the developers of the Isle who ended up uh, basically quitting and starting their own game, which is Path of Titans. And when I mean drama, I mean drama between the developer and the creator of the Isle, you know, Dondi, and uh, apparently they had a falling out and that's why uh, this uh, developer decided to quit the Isle and decided to make his or her own game. I don't know anything about this drama and my summarization of it could be inaccurate because again I don't know a whole lot but whatever it is it's the reason why this game exists and I feel like it's the reason why they're even planning on putting out on multiple platforms which if I'm going to be completely honest with you is a pretty smart move. I mean obviously when it comes to the gaming world, I feel like majority of the people are pretty much on consoles. Yeah, a PC race may be cool, but consoles are, I guess, are just more uh, cost efficient than PCs. And I know that that might in itself might spark a lot of PC players that are on my channel to say, well, you could buy this and build that for only this much. Listen, guys, let's be honest. Computer talk for console players, it's not really our thing. I know it's like building Legos for you guys, but for us, there's just a lot of unnecessary uh, costs and a lot of work that goes into it obviously so uh, I mean me personally as a console player yeah that's pretty much it I just like consoles I prefer them over PC that that's it but whatever drama there is or whatever preference platform you choose the game on I'm just excited that maybe one day I'll be able to play Path of Titans on the PS4 and speaking of one day they also mentioned something about a release date which I'm going to be quite honest with you I pretty much saw coming what they were going to say uh, and that is 
they are not actually going to reveal a specific release date yet for Path of Titans, which again, this should has this should have come as a surprise to most, if not all of us, because of course, what is happening with uh, COVID-19 and, you know, that pretty much delaying everything. One of the things that they mentioned in this video is that they are not comfortable releasing a specific date uh, for the Path of Titans release because they do not know if they can hold up to that promise because let's face it, it would really suck if they uh, gave us a specific date and they had to delay it because of shit that's going on around the world and that just ends up disappointing everyone uh you know all the fans of path of titans it just seems like the logical thing to do for them to not announce anything specific now and to not promise anything especially given the circumstances of the world right now um because right now everything just looks a little bit doubtful in terms of releasing uh new stuff to the public and despite the fact that they have been pretty dormant in these last four months at least alderaan games uh went out of their way to give us an update and actually reach out to the people who have been supporting this game and giving us some details about it and where it's at at the moment. Uh, definitely appreciate that because they are keeping us in the loop unlike uh, other game developers that uh, we know. Anyways, uh, moving on from that, we've also got something else I wanted to point out. And I feel like at this point, I probably summarized the entire video. Still watch the, the video. I'm pretty sure they covered more stuff, but uh, I feel like I've covered most of it. So uh, yeah, anyways, one of the things that they also mentioned was modding is now supported on Mobile Path of Titans. And it's actually available right now. If you update your game, I'm pretty sure you can actually have access to uh modding the actual game which is definitely something new i feel like i haven't really heard that before especially on a mobile game but that's definitely interesting and something that i do want to try out they also have like these modded maps that i'm pretty sure you're able to test out right now i, th I think i'm not 100 percent sure i didn't really test it out quite yet i will eventually and I, I might just make a separate video on it um given that you know we are able to access uh these modded maps but these modded maps that i know for sure uh include the uh god i don't even know them by name but it, one of them is like a a stone hedge kind of map that's uh where the setting is kind of just a wooded area which looks pretty cool it looks neat but you know the other ones look better in my opinion uh just from looking at it the second one is the grim expanse which is i think one of the first modern maps announced uh for path of titans and this is more of a desert setting and it looks it actually looks really cool uh and the last one is just something really weird but it's called like the lunar something and the setting is just the moon you're able to just run around the moon <laughs> on the moon as a dinosaur which i don't know that just sounds really cool to me i don't know why that just sounds like a weird thing to think is cool but in my opinion that definitely sounds like something that i would want to do and something that i'd probably enjoy i don't know why i just like the fact that we're getting all these settings and not just one specific map i, I like that idea and the fact that i i'm i don't know if it's 100 percent accessible to just anyone but i'm assuming that modders are able to get on and make their own maps that's basically what it sounded like in the video i could be wrong maybe i miss heard them or maybe they just meant something else by that but they said that modders are able to actually access this and mod their own stuff in the game and they said it themselves they're actually really excited to see what uh these modders can come up with and i definitely implore any modders that are watching this video to go on path of titans and try this out for yourself i feel like we can definitely get some really cool things it's really nice to have a game development team that's so open to having their games being modded it's almost as if other people should you know try that and let their you know audience who are clear fans of the game actually you know play it uh in a way that's different from what it usually is because maybe the way it usually is isn't the most fun and is boring before too long not that path of titans is gonna be that way but you know just in case at least we have other stuff that we can do including modding or playing modded stuff i actually don't know if we're able to play other people's modded stuff or if that's just something you have to do on your own and just kind of play it on your own i don't know but this is definitely something i'm going to test out and experiment uh on my own time and something that i am most likely going to make a video out of but i'm going to go ahead and make that a separate video 
But anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much all I had to say for now. Uh, this is just some of the bigger stuff that I wanted to mention. There's definitely more that they mentioned in this video. So I will link the original video down in the description below if you want to watch it. It's not a long video. It's just six minutes of them just kind of discussing what they've done in the last four months. And I, I just highly recommend that you watch it, you know, in case you want to be up to date on anything relating to Path of Titans. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I had to say for today. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Path of Titan news and updates. And that's pretty much all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please, have a nice day.